guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am very excited because I just received my new Lisa Eldridge, the new velvet collection. So we're gonna go ahead and do some swatches and talk to you guys about these beautiful lipsticks. But before we go any further in the video, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So Lisa Eldridge just came out with a new launch of lipsticks and this happened when I was on vacation in Paris. So I scrambled a little bit on my cell phone to make the purchase. I wasn't really around to watch the videos and to really do a deep dive on the website, but I did pick up one of these trios. I got the one called the New Velvet Collection. And this one comes with Velvet Fawn, Velvet Muse, and Decade. The packaging for the lipsticks is the same as the velvets that came out last year, those beautiful reds, like um, Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Morning. Um, it has the same packaging, it's gold and white. It says Lisa Eldridge on it, it has her logo, and it comes in this beautiful velvet or velour pouch. And I really like it because I have the one that came out in the summer with the pink collection, but I mean, they're different sizes completely, as you can see. They are different shapes, they have different, you know, patterns going on, etc. but this one is just, it feels a bit more substantial. I love the fabric, it feels very soft. The red and gold combination just really screams holiday to me. And don't get me wrong, I really love this one here because it screams Audrey Hepburn, Go Lightly, that sort of Tiffany's color, that's what I think of when I see this, but I'm just very happy to collect a new one. And if you're not familiar to my channel, I did get the other Lisa Eldridge collections. I got the reds from last year, and I got the vibrant colors that came out this summer, the luxuriously lucent, and the velvets as well. Oh, I'm so sorry, they were not um, velvets that came out this summer, they were the insanely saturated, but they had a similar texture, but I guess some of the detailing was different. So I think the easiest thing to do is to try the lip colors from lightest to darkest, and what I'll do is I'll read off some of the description off of the website here directly. So they retail at 26 pounds individually, or you can buy the trio like I did, and it is 75 pounds plus tax, etc. Okay, so the shade Velvet Fawn, it's described as a pretty and delicate fawn shade inspired by the classic 90s shades in Lisa's vintage makeup collection with the addition of skin lifting lively undertones to make it extra flattering. I'm excited because I've had a hard time finding nude lipsticks that don't make me look dead. <laughs> like I remember Lisa was describing this in her video talking about creating this lipstick and finding the right undertone because sometimes a nude lipstick just kind of washes you out. So let's go ahead and test this one out. Also, before we go any further, these lipsticks are also cruelty free. And like the other velvet lipsticks, there's absolutely no odor or scent and they have the most beautiful detailing. If you've purchased any um, Lisa Eldridge velvet lipsticks, you know this gorgeous velvet pattern. I don't know how she does it. It's so stunning. I think it's perfect for makeup lovers. It's, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it directly on the lip. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it as I would a normal lipstick. I know you can dot it on and blot it in. You can use a lip liner. You can fill it in with a lip pencil or lip brush, I should, I should say. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use it as a regular lipstick. So there we go, this is a Velvet Fawn, straight from the tube, no lip liner. I know she said you can use a lip liner to do the contour and give it that like 90s supermodel look, which I think is a great idea, but I think for the purpose of this video, I just wanna do like a swatch so you can see in real life how you would apply it at home. I wonder if Lisa will come out with a line of lip liners because I think we would also really appreciate that. So the texture of this lipstick feels like the other velvet lipsticks there's nothing here formula wise that feels any different it's a matte but it's not that matte that just <laughs> sucks the moisture out of your lips this is a very nice nude it's an easy color you could kind of just you know dot it on really or spread it on very quickly without even using a mirror you can use a lip liner but i think this looks 
really nice as it is. It's too bad that this came out after Halloween because if you had any Halloween parties and you wanted to dress up as like a 90s supermodel, this would be a perfect lip color to go with it. I feel like the longer this color stays on my lips, the more I like it. It seems to just like melt and warm up with the lips. I don't know, it's not a cool tone, it's not warm, but it's almost like a neutral. I think it is a bit warm on me. There seems to be some sort of like terracotta undertone, which I appreciate because sometimes nude lipsticks that are too cool on me just do not look wonderful but this one is really nice i i'm really a fan of this one i wasn't sure i thought that this one i would be on the fence but i actually like it a whole lot more than i thought it's much warmer on me than i was anticipating and i'm very happy about that let's move on and let's go ahead and try out velvet muse Okay, so Velvet Muse is described as a sensual, smoky rosewood shade with the perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertones to make the shade super wearable across a wide variety of skin tones. I think this is the one that I am the most excited about, especially because of the pinky brown words. This to me just screams that lipstick that you can just throw on. This is the type of lipstick in my mind that you keep in your purse and you can wear on any occasion because it will always look good. It will always make you look put together. But perhaps I should go ahead and try it out before talking about it so much. Let's go ahead and try out Velvet Muse. So this is exactly the shade that I had anticipated. This is, to me, the lip shade that can live in your purse and it's the emergency color for any occasion, for any look. It just adds a nice wash of color and I think this one Lisa did use as a blush. I applied blush earlier today so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. For this video, it's really just swatching and showing you guys the colors for you guys to see at home. In future videos, I can go ahead and mix and match these colors because I know that you can do like ombre lips and mix these colors and use them as blush, etc. Um, this is a really pretty color. Again, on me, I feel like I'm noticing some warm undertones. I, I think it's just, yeah, it's described as a sensual, smoky rosewood shade, perfect mix of pinky brown with dirty rose undertones. It doesn't really come off as cool tone on me. There's definitely more neutral warm, which I'm a huge fan of because I'm so warm toned. Again, I did not use a lip liner or anything for this. I just went ahead and you know applied it how I would normally, but this would look nice with a lip liner if you choose to use one. I think that this is just a really pretty, very easy to use everyday, no fuss, no brainer type of lip product, which I really like because I love a bright, bold lip color like anyone else, but it's fun to use just like a no brainer, easy to go lipstick every now and then too. Okay, we are quite on a roll. Let's go ahead and try out our last one, Velvet Decade. Okay, so Velvet Decade is described as a deep chocolate shade that is lifted and made very wearable by its blue and lively red undertones, which stop it from being a flat brown. So it says here that this is a gorgeous color if you just pat it on your lips and then push it in as a your lips but better. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that first and then afterwards we'll just go in with a deep chocolate color. So I think this is what they meant by saying to tap it into your lips as a stain and have it be your lips but better. But honestly, I think the second color, uh, Velvet Muse, is my ideal your lips but better. That beautiful pinky brown shade is what I would like my lips to look like naturally. But anyway, let's go ahead and just apply a darker coat of this lipstick. So here is Velvet Decade in its full splendor. It's actually not as intimidating as I thought it was going to be. In the photos and videos, it does look very dark, and it is dark, but I think it works with my makeup and my shirt and the cold weather. I think it works very well. This, to me, screams 90s. I wasn't 
I mean, I was born in 1988, so I was aware of the 90s as they were happening, but I wasn't really that into makeup in the 90s. I was mostly into scented lip smackers and roll-on body glitter. That was the extent of my makeup use in the 90s. But in my mind, this is the color that a supermodel would wear in the 90s. And you saw when I just tapped it on as a stain, there's definitely a lot of room between a stain and this here. As you saw, I went in and applied lip color, but I think there's a wide range of pigment you could use here. I'm not sure if I'm expressing my words correctly at all. I'm trying to say is that this lipstick, you, you saw that you could wear it as a stain or as intense as this, but there seems to be quite a gradient. So if you did buy this and you're a bit scared about how dark it is, I think you'll be okay because as you saw, there's quite a bit of room for darkness here. Okay, so I have to say overall, I am really happy with my purchase. I mean, of course, I have loved every other purchase that I've made with Lisa Eldridge, the velvet red colors from last year, the beautiful pinks from the summer, and these gorgeous nudes. The only thing that I'm sad about is that I did not get the berry collection. Looking back, the other velvet collections, the velvet blue, the deep velvet, and also the soft velvet all look so stunning. I think the only problem is picking which ones you want to buy or buy all of them if you feel like it. There are still some collections and some individual lipsticks available for sale on the website now. There has been a restock of Velvet Morning, Velvet Ribbon, Velvet Jazz. So if you wanna get those, those are up now for the time being. Lisa did say that she will restock her velvets, but apparently it's just such a headache to do that she's only gonna do a restock once a year. So I'm not sure if she's going to do a second one now or what the deal is. But anyway, if you are in the market for any of these lipsticks, I would recommend going on the website now. And also, it appears as though the pink lipsticks from the summer collection are on the website now as well as a trio so if you want to get the lipsticks that you missed out on from the summer those are available for sale i will put a link in the description box of my previous lisa eldridge videos for swatches and demonstrations if you guys want to see i did some wear tests on those as well from what i can feel these are the exact same formulas as the true velvets obviously it's the same one but these wear very very well they stain the lips obviously if you eat and drink you know they're not it's not a tattoo it's make makeup it's not a tattoo it won't last you know for 14 hours but it is very long wearing and it is comfortable it does feel a little bit thick almost a bit waxy which is nice because it feels a bit more hydrating but overall these are beautiful colors i really like them i love the 90s supermodel vibe i just need like a fan to blow some wind in my hair and the mood is complete i think these are beautiful lisa knocked it out of the park again as usual <laughs> All right, I'm not really sure what else there is to say about this lipstick collection. I am very happy that I got the ones that I did. I'm a little bit sad that I did not uh, spring on the other collections or the other kits. Some of them seem to be sold out, but some of the individual shades are still available for sale. So we'll see if I do any shopping after I finish the video. Anyway, let me know down in the comments which Lisa Eldridge lipsticks did you buy? Did you buy any of the new restocks? Did you buy the new lipstick colors? which one of these was your favorite i don't know i like all of them but i think i don't know maybe the second one or even the first one i'm really surprised how much i like velvet fawn i thought it was going to be way too light way too nude but it has a nice color I, it's hard to choose they're all beautiful they're all like wonderful like nude 90s supermodel glam i mean who doesn't want to be a 90s supermodel let's be honest Okay, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.